winter was coming and I only had one pair of long pants on me, so I decided to get a ride to the nearest Salvation Army. I was short on funds at the time and I didn't have a lot of money on me which was why it was either this or nothing. When I got there, I lucked out and was able to find a few pairs in my size. I even had plenty of money left over. I looked through a whole bunch of games and found fairly odd parents, breaking the rules for the PS2. I always liked this show and decided to take a gamble to see if this was going to be a decently made licensed game. It was only $3 anyway. I made the purchase and got home. When I opened up the case to the game, I was disappointed. The game wasn't inside of the case, but instead a DVD of the actual show was. On the disc was a picture of Timmy Turner as an adult from the episode The Big Problem, where Timmy is sick of being a kid and wishes to get older. The person who had donated this probably made a mistake and switched up the game with the show. The disc was probably from the first season DVD box set. Being bored and having nothing to do, I put the disc into my DVD and played it. My theory was wrong about it being from a season box set, because there were only three episodes on the thing. The episodes Superbike, Deja Vu, and They Are Gone. The DVD title was just an image of the grown-up Timmy crying, when he wasn't fairly arrested in the big problem and wanted to be a kid again. I also noticed that the big problem wasn't one of the three episodes, so why would they have grown up Timmy on the disc and title? Strange, as that is, I also didn't recall seeing an episode titled They Are Gone before. The show was entertaining, as usual with the first two episodes that I watched being as good as I remembered them before the later seasons messed everything up. I also noticed that these episodes were from the second season of the show, after I did some research on the Fairly Odd Parents wiki. After the first two episodes, They Are Gone began playing. The title card had a picture of Timmy with Cosmo and Wanda together, except there were two black X's crossing the two fairies out. The episode starts with Timmy playing with his fairies all happy and such. He makes a wish which is to have food and then wishes for the newest video game. Timmy seemed very clingy towards his fairy guardians, even more than usual. He mentions how he's lucky and doesn't want to stop praising Cosmo and Wanda. The next scene is a bunch of montages showing scenes from various episodes where his fairies help him when he needs it the most. These scenes were in black and white. They also went up to season 4 and played for about 2 minutes. The final montage scene had Timmy getting revenge on Vicky, his babysitter which was from the pilot episode. After the montages, Timmy is lying down on his bed and talks about all the fun he had today despite what had happened. He even begins to act more appreciative around his godparents despite abusing his wishes most of the time. He may have been a jerk for some of the episodes, but this version of Timmy Turner wasn't the character that I knew. If this episode never aired on TV, it was probably for this reason alone. Just as he's about to go to sleep, Timmy speaks. I never want any of this to go away. After saying this, Wanda's grin turns into a frown. She begins to look depressed. Cosmo despite being stupid at times also shared the same expression that Wanda had, as if he was aware. What should we tell him? Wanda asked Cosmo. Cosmo goes silent, then he tells Wanda that now would be the best time. Wanda nods slowly to Cosmo's answer and tells Timmy that in the future, he'll have to say farewell to them when he's all grown up. The thing is, the show has explained this before. When Timmy becomes an adult, he'll lose Cosmo and Wanda. His memories will also be wiped of ever having any fairies in the first place. Cosmo and Wanda's job were to make sure that Timmy had a successful future despite the odds that were always against him. I knew what the episode was now about, but I remember this plot being used before in another special, so it was weird to see it get used again. After Wanda tells Timmy all of this, Timmy gets depressed which is understandable considering that good things don't last forever. He then goes into a flashback, where he remembers himself wishing to be an adult. This was strange considering that continuity from another episode was rare in this show. Timmy goes to sleep all saddened. The next scene was Timmy who was obviously having a bad dream. I'm used to seeing things like this getting used in shows, so I was able to tell what was happening. Timmy wakes up in an empty room which is completely white. 
Usually watching a character having nightmares in a kid's show wasn't bad, but even I started to feel uneasy when Timmy cried out for help. Voices belonging to Crocker, Vicky, and Trixie started laughing in malice, while Timmy continued his search until eventually hearing Cosmo and Wanda yelling. He turns around to see a giant demonic hand grasping hold on the two fairies. He runs, after the hand attempting to rescue his two godparents. The hand quickly phases through the floor, escaping with Timmy's two godparents. Timmy awakens, he doesn't yell or scream like you would expect in a nightmare sequence. He gets up and looks at Cosmo and Wanda sleeping, disguised, as fish. He then starts speaking in a depressed tone. I know I have other friends, but I was never special. I was only given Cosmo and Wanda because they felt sorry for me. Once I lose them, they'll forget about me. I'll just be another forgotten memory like the last kid they watched over. Now that I thought about it, Cosmo and Wanda never brought up anyone they looked after in the past. Was Timmy right? It's only a job. They pretend to like me, but it's all a complete lie. Timmy goes to a window in his room and continues talking to himself. I'm sorry that I couldn't be a winner. I couldn't even make decent wishes. Everything I've tried to wish for has backfired on me. They're probably secretly annoyed with me because I always get them in trouble. I've even exposed them to a lot of danger. They say they love me, but they'll forget about me in time. Timmy sobs quietly, while opening the window. I didn't like where this was going. Fairly Odd Parents was a show that was always comedic, it never had mature themes in it. The fact they were implying suicide was terrible and it made me wonder who was involved in the production of this episode. There was no way the creators were involved in this. Timmy speaks for the final time. If this is what it will take to be remembered, I'm ready to pay the price. I won't have my happy memories taken from me. I'll always be a kid. Before Timmy jumped out of the window, Cosmo and Wanda were now up and started shouting for Timmy to stop. He ignores his two fairies and takes the plunge. Cosmo and Wanda try to catch him in time, but it was already too late. Cosmo and Wanda look down and see Timmy's lifeless body. Immediately, the episode ended without any dialogue from the two fairies. Needless to say, I didn't expect anything like that to get given on a disc. I wasn't done with this chapter in my life yet though, I wanted to get to the bottom of this. I did some searching around for they were gone and was shocked, when I found out that I wasn't the only one who had seen the episode. A lot of other fans of the show told me that they were gone was put into various bootleg discs and scattered around in hope that people would find them. The person responsible for what I had just seen was Matt. He was a high-functioning autistic kid that was talented at many things including edits to shows. Sadly, he was ignored due to his hobbies and weird sexual interests. Matt was stupid enough to show these interests before an entire classroom. He showed off a presentation in class, where he had edited an episode of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. It was an edit on an existing episode of the show, where it was strongly implied that Sonic and Tails were having sex together. People including teachers and families became disappointed in Matt due to his lack of control. He was ignored by a large group of people and no one paid any attention to his later projects despite not having any sexual content in it. Matt eventually ended up getting expelled for destroying other people's work due to his jealousy and hatred for his fellow peers. Later in his life, Fairly Odd Parents aired for the first time and Matt became obsessed with it. He easily compared himself to Timmy because of how miserable he was before getting his fairies. The show for the most part was his most favorite show, and when he finally snapped and got fed up with the outside world, he worked on making his own episode. He shut himself in his room working on the thing for months. He kept this up, until it was ready. He made a bunch of discs with the episode in it and started to mail them out to random places, even donating some of these discs to charities and the likes. When he finally distributed all the discs, he took his own life like Timmy had in the show. There is a theory that Matt was in the shoes of Timmy in that episode and that, if he was in his shoes, he wouldn't be able to handle growing up and moving on from his own past. He couldn't get past reality. I took the disc back to the place I had gotten it from. I knew I wasn't going to get my money back, but I had already seen the episode and now it was time to pass it over to someone else. 
I only hope that a younger kid doesn't get his hands on it.